Hello, this is Bill Wimsatt with Wes Landers with part three on a business value approach to enter. In this section, we're going to show how decisions made in the portfolio analysis component can be used in modeling the enterprise architecture itself. Now, design to decide is not a one-way process. It goes both ways. As you're making design decisions, business, operations, finance, risk managers, and even the architects are deciding which items make up the best investment portfolio in order to achieve the business goals. The information that we created in Focal Point, we can bring back to System Architect so we can assure that our business architectures that we're creating now and our to-be architectures are meeting the business needs. Here I'm showing that application usage that we saw in the first part of this first part of this presentation. Now underneath of this is information that I brought back from Focal Point into System Architect. What that allows me to do is to apply analytics within my architectural environment so that I can make sure that as I'm building my to-be architectures I'm using the most efficient applications, the most valuable business processes, and the most valuable services with the least amount of risk within the business. Those were all components of my decide process within the DID framework. In this case, I'm going to show a heat map. This heat map manager allows me to identify within my environment which business activities have the most risk, which business activities have the most IT efficiency, which are the most financially attractive, or which have the most business value. Those different items and the different values are brought back from focal point. I can do the same thing with my applications. Which are the most risky applications? Which have the most business value? Or which have the most IT efficiency? Now all of this information is kept within each of those objects and it's brought back from focal point. For example, if I open up this accept business activity and I look at the tab called portfolio assessment, I see risk values, business values, IT efficiency, and financial attractiveness that were created within the decide portion of the DID framework within focal point. I bring that information back to system architect so that my business architects and my enterprise architects can assure that we have the best framework and best plans for meeting our business future business needs.